Hello! Welcome back to the messenger. So, I have a confession to make. I did in fact look up where the last seal, where the last power seal was. Uh, in my defense, I was apparently not the only person who struggled to find this seal. So we're gonna go get it, and then I guess see what the end of the game potentially has to offer us. I think we're there on getting to the end, but you know, just in case. You know, it's funny watching this again with new information. Yeah, I. it was pretty funny how many YouTube comments were like, this was my 45th seal or whatever. <laughs> Seems like a lot of people got stumped by this one. That's my excuse anyway. And I'm sticking to it. So we'll try and get through this as quickly as possible. And then be on our way to whatever is waiting us. I think we have all the notes. All the music notes. Oopsie. Oh, that's actually really annoying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have access to all the music notes. And we'll get whatever's in the chest. So, we should be as good to go as we'll ever be. I need to hit a fireball here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I am trying to go... up. Area is kind of spicy. Wait. Uh, it's fine? Yeah. Whoa. Uh, I should have just thrown a shuriken. Would have actually just solved all my problems. Oh wait, I respawned there too? That's so annoying. Whatever. There's definitely a much easier way to deal with that than I did. But as always, I'm finding the... I find the most challenging solutions. Ah! The enemies that, like, are more random, absolutely terrifying to deal with. Still a while to go. Aw, oh, what? Scammed. Oh, pfft. <laughs> I just didn't press any buttons that were good there. It's okay. Didn't get set too far behind. I think my track record of hitting a save point and then dying shortly after is very consistent. Like, frighteningly consistent. Uh, if I just hold left, I'm fine. I did this in the most complicated way possible. Yes, this way, right? Oops. I don't know what I thought I was cooking there. Oh, that was good. I'm going this way. I'm really excited to see what's in this chest. Nice. Not nice. Oh. <laughs> Instinctively turned and then panicked because I felt like I was running on lava again, but I was not this time. Probably didn't need to wait one more drip, but didn't. Oh, that's such a bad death. Oh, that's such a bad death. <laughs> Budge. Ah! It's okay, just letting out my inner goblin today. <sighs> Trying to do everything quickly and not die is challenging. Which is definitely a part of the game. Like, it's not the game's fault. It's definitely my fault. Oopsie.
Why did I just run into that? Uh, I'm just taking damage for fun now? Whatever. I think that was... I just remembered what on earth happened there. I feel like I got propelled by not oh, crud. I feel like I got propelled by the damage boost there. That was wild. Whatever that was, that was cool. It almost looked like a zip. Okay. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> I like remembered they were alternating and then still took all the damage. Kind of fun. <laughs> I didn't even think about what health I was on. I was like, I'll live. It's fine. <laughs> Guess what? It's not fine. That's fun. Can skip all this. Just taking damage for fun. I didn't even mean to do that. I think the fastest way to get up this room must be pretty sweet to watch. Ah. Yeah, I have to go this way. Oh, almost forgot to jump again. Oh, that's a cool little, I want to call it skip necessarily, but it's got something fun to it. Oh, goodness. Dodgeball. The other thing I just thought of that's interesting is I wonder if the demon sword has, sorry, the empowered sword has a longer range at all. Because it kind of looks like it does. And if it does, then. Have I been over there? I think I have. If it does, then you can actually maybe do some extra tricks. Wait, have I never been to the bottom of this room before? No, I definitely have. I was like, this isn't the part I got stuck in, right? That would be really dumb. No, it wasn't. But there's more. Yeah, so this is where I got stuck. And from the sounds of things, this is where most people got stuck. Turns out... The thing you're supposed to do is the thing that seems very obvious now that I know about it, but I didn't know before. You're just supposed to float down. Does this reset the room? It does. Okay, good. Because this level looks so scary, right? And it is. You just do this. And this is the room with the last seal in it. Like like I said, I'm not the only person to have this problem. Oh, please don't kill me. Kill me. What's up? But... I do need to get into the room with the crazy dog. Oh, that was very spicy looking. Oh, this way. Right? Yes. What the hell? I guess the other parts are hop up. That seals laughably easy to get, actually. But yeah, that's how you do that seal. That's it. That's what I spent a million years not being able to get. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I have all the seals. Like I said, uh... Many, many people I saw ran into problems with the same seal, so I'm going to chalk that one up to it being tricky and not me necessarily being an idiot. Although, it could be both. All right, so let's open the chest. Oh, it's glowing. I'm so excited. What do you got for me? I finally clicked through your stupid shields. A windmill shuriken. How do I use that? Is this a regular shuriken? Oh, baby. Ah. 
I don't actually really had to use properly. But fun. Oh, that's cool. Nah. It doesn't travel that far, though. What do you say now? Nothing? Alright, bye. Wait, can I upgrade the windmill shuriken? No. But... Wait, have I still not got this? Wait, what? Have I not had this the whole time? Oh my god. <laughs> that would have made things so much easier. Honestly, I feel like the regular shuriken might be better, but whatever. Alright. So yeah, this is our last note, right? Oh, I have to do the thing. I forgot I have to click on the box. Alright, so... We're now going to go to where I assume the end of the game is. I have no idea how long the end of the game is. So, I don't know if this is going to be one video or two, but... We're getting close. What the hell? What do you mean you don't know? <sighs> okay. Can't wait for this. <laughs> what's really going on? What do you mean what's really going on? Ooh, cutscenes. You want to go a civilization of giants lived in the clouds protecting the world from unknown forces. I know who they are. <laughs> That I don't miss. That I didn't miss from Sea of Stars. <laughs> That's cool. That was the. I guess they're the. You get to visit them because they're still alive. Centuries went by in harmony until one day they watched helplessly as the world suffered a massive flood. Only a single piece of land remained Australia. <laughs> Ever adaptive, humanity gathered its survivors and built a huge temple where they would try to find new meaning. Oops, I accidentally pressed a button, but thankfully it didn't skip anything. Answering the call of these troubled times, a formidable couple stepped up to be their leaders. Hmm. Wonder who they are. I'm so curious how much planning Perseus Stars was done before they made this game. Oh, never mind. It's not who I thought it was. Anyway, still an interesting question. Gifted with a beautiful voice and an otherworldly ability to create mesmerizing... something. The Muse. And he, ever stoic, fearless, and mysterious, would become known as Phantom. After a decade of relative stability, the skies began flashing red as if a war was being waged against the Sky Giants. Well, that doesn't seem good. Suboptimal, I would say. Oh. Indeed, an army of demons, destroyers of worlds, had found the human realm. Well, I guess it wasn't humans that battled the giants then. With humanity's protectors soon to be extinct, Muse and Phantom inspired everyone to prepare for the inevitable onslaught. <laughs> You're probably going to die. Good luck. <laughs> the demon army was too strong, the temple was lost, and Muse was killed while trying to protect her people. Sag. I'm trying to remember if we ever met Muse in Sea of Stars, but I don't remember. Ah, I see. Fighting back tears, Phantom picked up her final creation to keep as a memento, a music box. So that's the music box I spent all this time killing. Abandoning the temple to the Demon King, he led the last survivors of his race to the western edge of the island. So there's a bonus island I have to go see? Also, it's notable that the top left of my screen, like the map screen, is blank. It's like one of the only blank bases left, and that would be west. So we might still have room for one more place on the map. The final stand proved successful, and after instructing his people to rebuild and stay hidden, Phantom pushed his luck. Well, I can't imagine this went well. Also, he does look like a 18th century villain. Blinded by rage, he darted towards the temple in a foolish attempt to take down the Demon King. It doesn't seem ideal. Yeah, 
Insulted by the boldness of this broken being, the Demon King opted for a punishment worse than death. Oh no. Get stuck in the time loop delivering scrolls. Corrupting his love's memento with demon magic. Oh, never mind. He turned Phantom's music box into a tether to the human realm. Hmm. Every 500 years, they would come back to torture humanity until they abandoned all hope and surrendered to extinction. I see. It's so funny how different, like, this story and aesthetic is to the game's starting one. Phantom was forced to wear a cursed mask which would steal his mind. Oh god, we have to battle this guy. Keep him in a state of perpetual distress. Inserted into the music box, he would play the organ forever to keep the relic's magic alive. Wow, it is actually just Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> in this both mental and physical prison, he would be the one to ensure the curse on his legacy was maintained. Okay, so he's in the box? But Phantom's will was a strong one, offering lapses of sanity where he could tap into his growing understanding of demon magic. Oh. Nice eternal punishment, bozo. Joke's on you, I'm learning magic. The fight to get rid of the curse would last centuries, so his people would need the ability to cooperate across generations. True. Kind of smart, actually. Oh, so he sends messages into the future. Time travel was the key. Well, if only it was that easy. <laughs> With his last stretch of sanity, he wrote a scroll, imbuing it with enough power to attune its carrier to time magic. Oh, that's cool. Wait, now he's insane completely? That doesn't seem good. Ah, he is insane completely. Unlucky. Before losing his mind completely, he teleported his final hope, the scroll, to his people's hideout. As they soon realized, the scroll let them see strange manifestations, things not ev not every mind could stand. Well, it's a magic scroll, so that kind of lines up. Only a few brave adventurers had a strong enough will to carry the scroll. They called them messengers. Whoa, look at these messengers. One of them's just a chick with a baseball cap and a bow and arrow. That's kind of dope. Wait, one of them's Cyber Ninja Gaiden. What the hell? With the ability to step through space-time tears, they had access to the Void, a safe haven outside of time. Hmm. Messengers from all time periods would soon gather there, the perfect meeting point for their endless war. I don't think I've been to the Void yet. Are the robed people messengers? But as it turned out, meeting denizens of the future or even one's alternate self could be troubling for some. Also lines up. The math is checking out. After a few incidents of more primitive messengers going into shock, they opted to conceal their appearance. Oh. So the Tower of Time is in the void? So one of them is me? Thus, the Order of the Blue Robes was founded, and together they built their headquarters, the Tower of Time. Is one of the Blue Robes me? Does anyone know? Are they all me? Every curse cycle would have its champion who would join the Order after passing the scroll to the next messenger. Didn't I do that already? I guess not. I still have the scroll, so I didn't do that. My brain is, like, kind of understanding the story. It's pretty cool. But it's pretty complicated. <laughs> I feel like I feel like they had this idea of like, what if we made a cool spin on like Ninja Gaiden? That was the genesis of the game. And then someone else was like, yeah, sick, what about time travel? And then those two things got married together. Even though the relic was too powerful to be destroyed, a new hope was found that day. Mysterious forces of the world started materializing in the form of magical music notes. Oh, interesting. Are they going to reopen the box or something? After one particularly gifted messenger managed to gather two of them, an idea emerged. An idea crazy enough that it just might work. Is that why there's two already? Was there two to start? I feel like there's eight notes, but 
two. But I only collected six. Uh, if they created a melody strong enough to breach the music box's protection spell, maybe a messenger could enter it and rescue the phantom. I am going in the box. All right, get me in there. Wonder how long this will take. Yep. All right. Well, let's find out. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get me in there. Let's... In I go. Oh, I'm tiny. <laughs> I guess that makes more sense than the box getting bigger. Whoa, this is cool. This is like the clock land from Sea of Stars. Any maps? I have everything. Oh, except I'm missing something down here, maybe? Okay. Oh, I guess the scroll will meet us. Oh, there is a music box. See? I told you. There was space on the left. All right. Let's see how this goes. The enemies are the same for now. Nice bait. Nice bait game. <laughs> I like that I still have thousands of time shards I don't need. What? That was mildly complicated. Oh god, things are going to come back. That's very annoying. What do I do? So I go here. Oh. Okay, it's just damage on those. And those. Wait, where did I go? Oh, here. Oopsie. Wait, does it permanently open them? I think my brain has been trained ever since that one stage. Holy smokes! that all the gates are timed, but I think that's maybe not true. These little things are annoying. Is this different now? Allegedly? That was an easy way to deal with that. <laughs> oh, I guess... Yeah, it's like a music box, so it's going up and down. That makes sense. Oh my god, a save. Bless up. I guess I can see if this closes. I assume this goes to the platform. Mm-hmm. Two. Two. It's kind of rhythm rhythmic. It's kind of cool. Ah, fudge. <laughs> I don't know how hard the bus is going to be. Oh, that does go through walls. Let's go. That's actually nutty. Oh, <laughs> too much. Too. Cool. Oh, another thing. Yeah, dropping on those things just kind of like... Normally isn't so bad. One. Uh. <laughs> I knew what I wanted to do, but kind of freaked myself out and almost died. And then the stupid bat got in my way. All right, we made it. Nice. At all? That don't seem so bad. Oh, whatever. Oh, what? I can definitely grab that. I definitely missed, but... Um, I have no idea where to go. I guess I have to go this way. Two, one, two, one. I don't have to count out loud too much, but it does help. <laughs> like I said, I feel like the music theme of this level does have a decent amount of 
rhythm. Okay, this is fine. Oh, interesting. Let's chill. I think anything where you can instantly... Oh, that was annoying. Anything where you can instantly die, you got to be a bit careful of. Oh my goodness. Can I aggro this bird? Got him. Wait, what? No. Hang on. Hang on. I think I know what to do. So go down. Wait. No, 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 no. Up. Go up. Go up. Actually, I can just die in Death Wolf. Alright, I'm gonna die in Death Wolf. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't kill you. No! The one time I wanted to do a Death Wolf. <laughs> Does this kill me? I mean, I'm almost there now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Actually, the one time I wanted to Death Wolf. <sighs> that was very annoying. <laughs> okay. No. That one you can avoid for sure. And this one you have to press this. Oh, it changes the things. I was like, why isn't the thing there? No. Does this have health in it? Yes. It's the only reason I hit it. Trying to stay calm. Honestly, trying to just enjoy the last area of the game. Taste it. Why is that glowing? This looks completely unhinged, by the way. Should have floated longer. Ugh, that's a long trip. Wait, why is it static? Oh, that was weird. I'll take it. still be health in this. There it was. One, two, one, two. This thing again. Not too bad. Aggro the stupid bird again. Huh! It's actually not that easy. Float. Oh, didn't even think about that. Oh, <laughs> there's also another bird coming. Terrified. Can you launch a shuriken off a wall? Like, what, well, clinging onto a wall? Whatever. At least I'm taking slightly less damage now. <laughs> Thanks to the upgrade that I thought I bought like 12 episodes ago. <laughs> I will say, for being such a difficult bonus item to collect, I think the Windmill Shuriken is like... I'm sure it's sick, but like, you gotta really understand how to use it. And uh, I certainly don't. Although it's nice having a Shuriken that recharges. But all of the applications I had for Shurikens previously... This is actually so annoying. Mainly because I'm re-gripping the bar more often than I thought. Okay. Float, 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 float. Can. Okay, that somehow hit. Like, like that spot. I did not mean to re-grab. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I 
thought there might be health, but it did drop into the void. Oh my god. And the pushing motion is just terrifying. I'm gonna wait. I do not want to die on this screen again. That, oh, I think the bottom parts are even grabbable. Bless up, there's a save. That was one of the, that was one of the hardest screens I've done in a while. Oh yeah, it doesn't go as far. Which is actually very annoying for this particular spot. It goes pretty far though. But the other one would travel laterally, like. Well, it hits it multiple times. It's kind of cool. No, come back. Bro. Um, I'm trying to, like, figure out what the hell's going on here. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're chilling, I guess. Oh. Okay, it's also not... Instant kill. All right, another save. Bust up. Why do I get the feeling this next section's hard? <laughs> I feel like they wouldn't have given me a save. It's so easy. Uh, you know, just your average damage booster. All right. It's actually not that bad. Oh, <laughs> spicy. Uh, I'm gonna take damage. Whatever. Ooh. Now where do I go? Down? Okay. I think this wasn't open before. Interesting. What am I supposed to do here? I guess just land on them? Okay, that's actually not so bad. Oh, I think I just managed to overcorrect. Oh, recorrect in time. Not exactly. Oh. oh. Interesting. The levels are on a cycle. So if you... If you restart them, you actually... Oh, crap. If you restart them, they actually stay stopped, which is kind of interesting. I have a feeling that means there's... Wait, it's like fully stopped for a while. It's kind of crazy. I have a feeling that means there's a... A death abuse in this level. <laughs> Not like this. Which is a kind of interesting, like, piece of tech to think about. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's stopped for ages, actually. Maybe it's just a difficulty slider thing that makes it easier for you if you die. Oh, crap. Wait, I think I took... I think my new upgrade saved me there, actually. Alright, getting here is not the hell. I have one HP. You can basically do that entire section for free. That's pretty cool. Oh. What? You just murdered me. Alright. Only took one damage. Not so bad. Let's aggro this thing. Alright. Uh, once you get out of rhythm, it's kind of a pain. But you can kind of cheat it! I was doing so well, actually. Oh, I think there's maybe more I could do there. Could have definitely fallen through. The second part, at least. Ah, uh, I did not mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that either. That's pretty suboptimal. Man, this level's gonna get on my nerves. In fact, this level has already gotten on my nerves, but it is the last level of the game, so I guess that's not all that surprising. 
Oopsie. Ooh, weird. Oh. Avoid the zip line. It's dangerous. Two, two. I could. I think you can. I just think I made a mistake. Oh. I I'm very curious if the end of the game has death stats. Uh, set. Really don't get a long window. Uh, I'm almost gonna die actually. I mean, part of it was like the cycle was completely thrown off, but I mean, oh wow, I could have gone for sure. There's definitely a cycle abuse you can do there. It's kind of cool. If you miss the cycle though, it's all sorts of pain trying to get back on. Uh, I just managed to catch myself there. I mean, I'm definitely killing this one bat. This section is very annoying. I thought I floated the other way. Oh, man. There's going to be so many deaths in this video. Alright, that damage boost feels worth it. Patience. Fuck. I'm just thinking that's so annoying. I guess you can go above it. I'm not doing it the like safest way you possibly could, but I don't know. Yeah, at this point I'm just taking that damage. This is a very frustrating section I have to redo. We'll just do it that way. It actually looks way better. Three health. Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna take a damage. Nice. Oof, no safe. Okay. I'm sorry, what? Puzzle. Save. No luck. Hell? Nice. I'm kind of scared. Seems a little too easy. And there's also an entire... Okay. No need to be scared yet. Go to the ground? No. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. 
That was a bloody bat there. This is more like a annoyance than a hazard. It is an annoyance. Oh. Alright, good enough. Bro. They're out to get me. For real, for real, though. Oh my god. <laughs> get me out. Oh, it's a death barrier. That's okay. This should work for free every single time. Nailed it. I was so ready to die there. I was like, this is the this is a great opportunity for the game to punish me for my hubris. This is just health, basically. I guess I get to see a little bit more of the level. Uh oh. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, that hitbox is rude. Okay, whatever, we made it. These look lethal? No. Well, actually, yes, these ones are. Just gonna play it nice and save. Still going. Okay. Uh, oh, almost got baited. Almost got baited again. How far do these go out? I'm so glad that thing hit that thing. Why do they make enemies like this? Oh, I can't open that. I've got to go the other way. All right. Bet. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Wait, I'm popping off? Oh, God. I'm not popping off. Wait, I am popping off. Okay, it's easy. It's free every time. Please die. Please die. It's fine. We just chill. Big chillin'. Uh, I don't know what to do. Wait, what do I... Oh, I see. Wait, what the... I have to do it the other way, I think. Okay, please. Wait, I really don't want to die. <laughs> I bet I said I really didn't want to die. Oh, the reason I don't want to die is... Well, this level not moving is actually really annoying. Wow, that was even worse reason to die. Be normal. Okay. We're popping. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. And then I have to float all the way over. Get on the other side of this. Avoid this absolute turd burglar of an enemy. All right, nice. That was really clean, actually. Just being patient. Just like I was taught. Patient, patient. I actually have to wait for this thing. Please don't hit me, little spiky turtle man. Up, 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 up. Oh, great. Oh, it doesn't go further. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that funny guy. Whatever. Uh-huh. These go to a death zone. I don't know why I had to change that, but okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't even notice the spiky rails. <laughs> Oh, clean! Every time I see something suspicious, suspiciously easy, I get very suspicious of the game. Oh. 
This is a cool, wait, what the hell? I wonder if there's like a float you can do there. Cause like, actually pretty annoying. Don't think I needed those at all. I feel like they're just there to make you feel cool. <laughs> oh, spiky bow. We caught ourselves. All right, we saved, bless up. It's two switches to hit for these gates. It should not be that hard. Nice. Uh, oh, I realized the problem now. Getting back up is really challenging. I wonder if, can I just fly around and hit the other switch, please? Oh. I have to figure out how to get back up. I did not think I would grab onto that. But then like, wait, actually, how do I get back up there? Can I jump on top of these? No. Now I'm just trapped again, right? Like that, that doesn't work. Huh? Let's try the other side, just to see. Okay, wait, that seemed kind of promising. Need to be lower. Problem is, I can't get out again. Hmm. I'm very glad there's a safe here. I like don't understand at all. Maybe without the spiky bars, it's possible. Yeah, I think that's right. But then like, once you're here, you're actually just trapped. Because, yeah, you're actually just trapped from that point. Because if you can't beat the spiky bars, It's all over for you. Oh. Okay. Guess I can, oh, it saves? Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, it opened? Oh, I must have saved another time. Okay, whatever. Definitely wasn't clean. Holy crap, that's cool. Oh. Lame. Wait. Yeah, lame. All right, where do I go then? Hang on, where do I go? No, there has to be a way. Okay, good. I would've been really mad at myself if I'd gone all the way back. I guess this shuriken can go through walls. Which the other one can't, right? Not in the same way, at least. Oh, I didn't have... That's intentional. I don't think this is right. Hang on. So I have to go... No, I can't go through this gate. Wait, how the hell does this work? Hang on. I have to do a lot of thinking. Oh, I have to come back here. In Old Zealand. Right? And then drop through. Yeah. So... This makes me new. Then... This makes me old. And this... Nice. Okay. Not so bad. Oh, the side is not grabbable. Is 
a square in the middle of them. That is safe. Nice. Wait, what? Just leave. <laughs> they can't hurt you if you leave. That's not true. Oh, these things are not my favorite enemy in the whole game. When this thing goes, starts going up, I think I can navigate this. Okay, whatever. I'm actually just going to take a damage. That's fine. In fact, that was probably just the best thing to do there. Please be health. Oh, I need this. Come back. That won't even kill me, right? No. It's very hard to figure out which blocks will and won't actually kill you. Uh... Hang on. Just float over here. You can do this low enough that I'm never gonna get hit. Oh, it doesn't even see it doesn't even kill you. I think the pipes are supposed to show you. Hang on. Hang. Ooh! Okay, I don't know how that worked, but that looked illegal. <laughs> the movement in this area is so wacky. Oh, that one goes all the way over. So I have to wait? Boo. But yeah, I think the, the tracks they're on do actually show the intervals and the length, so... Generally, the game's done a good job of keeping the details, like... Visible, but sometimes it's a little more subtle. And this background element's a little more subtle, but... Figured it out. Please stop. Come back. Uh, any healthers? Nope. Whoa, that is literally the most upsetting way I've ever died in this game. Bro, where am I? Bro, that's... That's just straight doo-doo. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's actually straight doo-doo. I'm mad. I'm actually mad. This ball doesn't seem too troublesome. I like had to remember what button it was. Yeah! Zero damage, baby. Okay, well that was surprisingly painless. I like these ones. The ones that don't kill you. <laughs> Big fan of. Ones that actually try and help you. Ah, oh, cycle. This cycle's so long. Doesn't look like there's a way to get over there faster either. So I imagine this room, if you're trying to do it quickly, has some real tight timings in it. Man, this is a long video. I hope the boss fight's not too hard. Uh, hitting the thing instead of the guy is annoying. By the thing, I mean the ball. Everyone wondering how to translate. No. It was worth. It was actually worth. I took two damage instead of dying. Oh! Let me live. Bless up. Bro, where am I? Wait, what? Oh, okay. The, like, jerkiness it does my head in a little bit. I need that. Like, again, once you get used to it, it's actually pretty cool, but 
a lot of adjusting. Bro, how much more of this level can there be? <laughs> I shouldn't complain. I'm actually having a lot of fun. This game's been so sweet. Oh! Absolute coggers. Oh. Well, that's suspicious. Hello, friend. Let's battle. All right. Honestly, if this is too hard, I'm doing it next video. But I think we got this. I did, yes. And I know you're... Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lies, lies, lies! Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I have this shuriken. That's kind of pog. Whoa! <gasps> We're playing tennis! Oh. Wait, no, I want to play tennis. Come back. Wait, the wind shuriken's kind of pog. I'm so scared. Wait, how do I dodge this? Oh, the lightning's hitting me. It took me a while to figure that out. The wind shuriken does tons of damage, by the way. No, I want to play tennis with you. It's like Ganon. Oh, boy. Ah! Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a full-on literal beam. It took me so long to figure out what the hitbox was there. All right. I'm going to take a couple dances, but it should be fun. Come here. Tennis time. Can. Bro. That makes me angry. I'll figure it out though. Okay. It's be on the wall, maybe? Ah. What? Scammed. I guess the whole arena is climbable. Wait, this is different. I didn't have to do this phase before. Also, I don't know if the little masks are... I guess they were just showing me where the, the thing is. More tennis? What the hell is this? Bro. Okay. This is... Feels like very similar to Ganon. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go leave. Oh, there is health there. What do I do this for? Okay, whatever. Something happened. I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, he's glowing red. Big pog. Got him. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to follow the time loops. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? Oh, Ooh, that was really fun. It was really fun until I died. Then I got mad. All right, the video is not going to be under an hour, but I'm pretty sure we're going to finish the game. Winchuriken does deeps, by the way. Can I ever hit him? Yes! All 
Wait, that was dope. So more tennis. Tennis me. More? Yes. 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 What? Bruh. No! Scammed. Absolutely scammed. I guess I shouldn't have assumed the rules would be the same. Bruv. Wait, this is the opposite, right? Oh, it is the opposite. Okay, so that's the other reason I got bamboozled. In this version, the lightning is in the time rifts. Oh, just barely hit him. You can do so much damage to this enemy, I feel like. Oh, I see. Spamming Slash and Wind Shuriken is very satisfying. And the Shuriken does deeps. Ah, oh, that hit him, yeah. I was gonna say, I could just wait for the Shuriken to hit him. Alright, this is the other one, right? Yeah, this is the one where I have to be in the things. Oh my god. I don't know these cycles well enough at all. Guess I can just float here? That was good. Get him. Tennis. Can I play this on the ground? Maybe. Oh, I have to jump. Yes! Let's go! Okay, Winterkin did a ton there. Because I think at minimum double hits. Right? Ah, oh, crap. There might be another boss. <laughs> It minimum double hits. So just sitting there spamming Slash and Winshirk and I think did a crap ton of damage. Because that fight felt like it ended way earlier than it was supposed to. You're welcome, buddy. Told you I was trying to help you. I have a feeling we're about to do another Capcom-style escape sequence. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, obviously, bro. Ooh. We can apparate now. Wait, how did you get in here? How did you get here? Are you the muse? Hello. Oh my god, please stop. You need to relax. Oh no. Oh my god, it's like the master hand fight. Can't move. What do you mean, how do we stop it? I mean, that's a pretty good plan. I ain't giving up. Yes, let's do the thing. With me! Oh, we did the thing. Alright, what thing are we doing? It's a... I swear... Wait, am I going to play as the thing? Oh, it's... Oh! Oh! Hadouken! I'm mashing. Let's go! Oh, Oh, it's a fighting game now. <laughs> it's a fighting game. Of course it's a fighting game. Why would it be anything other than a fighting game? We've had a shmup. We've had a platformer. We've had a metroidvania. What's one more genre? Holy crap. What a game. All right, well... That was the messenger. All the power seals. I assume every level in the game I did. I don't know how many of them are bonus levels. Didn't feel like very many of them, but... What a great game. Ooh. 
I think this series is officially longer than the Sea of Stars one, which I did not think would be true coming in, but I came in wanting a cool platformer. It was a cool platformer. And then I think it was even cooler than that at the end of the day. What now? Why am I a cowboy? Wait, why? If we get rid of the demon curse, why is there another messenger? It was a long story. What the hell? I'm so confused. Oh. <laughs> so I guess I made a prequel. Maybe I'll make a sequel. I guess they're leaving the door open. Oh my god, why is there a new game plus? <laughs> Alright, well... I think I'm going to treat this the same way as I did with Sea of Stars. Uh, we will probably play New Game Plus sometime, but not right now. We're going to move on to a different game. I think I know which one it is, but... Wow, what a marathon lost video to end this series. What a sweet game. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. And most importantly, thanks for hanging out with me.